habari Tanzania karibu tena kwenye kipindi cha uh, Rita Talk Show uh, leo tunafanya Let's Talk what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur mm -hmm. na kwenye kipindi chetu cha leo nimekuletea mwanamke ambaye ni very successful na hii success yake amepeperusha pe, bendera hapa nyumbani Tanzania lakini mpaka nje kwa kweli Veronica Kundia ambaye ndo mgeni wetu leo ni one of the exceptional women ambao nimewahi kukutana nao. Kwa hiyo nina furaha sana kwamba utakuwa naye na nina furaha sana kwamba Veronica ameamua kutu grace na muda wake. Karibu sana Veronica. Asante. It's really nice to have you here. Asante kwa kuninvite as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sasa before ni ni nianze kuambia wa Tanzania, mm -hmm. Africa tuko na nani leo? Mm -hmm. uh, kiundani ningependa mm. wewe ndo utuambie please yeah. tell us about you yeah. who is veronica yes mm -hmm. yeah so who is veronica <laughs> most of the time people wana wana wan introduce mm. and hata mimi mwenyewe before nilikuwa nafanya hivyo until mm. i met an, an exceptional woman mm. aka aka akatuelekeza how to define yourself mm. you know as in don't attach yourself to your family mm. or to what you do mm. to you know like with things and mm. all that so I'll start by defining Veronica mm -hmm. as Veronica. Okay? Please. please. So Veronica ni mwanamke wa sasa. Yeah. And mwanamke wa sasa in all aspects. Mwanamke wa sasa in the sense kwamba mwanamke ambaye amejitambua, you know, mm -hmm. ninajua nataka nini, ninajua mm -hmm. purpose yangu in life, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. Mwanamke wa sasa in the sense kwamba I'm independent. Nice. I am I do business. Mm. I I have my goals, mm. very big goals and mm. dreams. I'm a visionary. Mm. You know, ni na maono ya mbele kuna vitu na projects ambazo ninaziangalia na nataka nizitimiza. You understand? Mwanamke wa sasa in the sense kwamba ninajua umuhimu ni vitu gani ambavyo ni vya muhimu na vina mata kwenye maisha yangu. Mm. One of them is afya. You know, mwanamke wa nice. sasa sasa hivi kwa sababu ya mazingira ambayo tunayo, lifestyle ambayo tunayo, mwanamke wa sasa yote lazima atambue kwamba kuishi na maisha yenye afya njema kufanya zile tunasema healthy choices ni kitu cha muhimu mm -hmm. you understand mwanamke wa sasa in the sense kwamba i see people as who they are you understand as in me i do business ambayo ina involve watu wengi sana mm -hmm. so when i look at you i don't look at you as as, as the rita that you are mm -hmm. sasa hivi mm -hmm. ah, no, no, na angalia pia uko mbele tutakapofika pamoja mm -hmm. you know and i think that's the best way cuz wezi jua mtu alivyo mm -hmm. kwa jinsi hii ya kumwangalia hapa yeah. you understand mm -hmm. until you live with that person ndio umeshikuta na mtu ambaye anamchukia mwenzake tu hata haja kuongea naye <laughs> you know so mwana mtu sasa has reason. to has to have mm -hmm. that um, way of looking at people mm -hmm. but i am i, I am fashionable you know classy <laughs> you really in, yeah, yeah you, really you know am. because the looks mm -hmm. the appearance if you so kama unataka kufika mbali mm -hmm. you have to be you know look good love mm. yourself you know that will make you feel better mm. you know it will make you perform at your best mm -hmm. you understand yeah so yeah but i'm kind <laughs> yeah you know god fearing yeah. you know um yeah you're yeah, also see. very loving uh, uh, thank I you think. and you're also very helpful i yeah. must say yeah <laughs> so that's vero but also she's a mother of two Mm -hmm. That's another definition I'm born. That is how we always introduce ourselves. Yeah. So I'm a mother of two. Mm -hmm. I'm a wife as well, but mm -hmm. I'm an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. An international entrepreneur. Interesting. Yes. That's yeah. really nice. Yeah. Karibu. Tunaongea what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur. Yeah. And uh, what does success even mean? Yeah. In your own definition. I know yeah. everyone can define it in their own way. Yeah. I have my own definition, yeah. but I'm so interested to know how you define success okay mm. so um what success yes success in a definitions nyingi sana mm -hmm. kila mtu ana definition yake ya success lakini i think success ni it's according to mtu na mtu kutokana na kile ambacho umejiwekea kama lengo mm. mimi kama nilikuwa ninataka nifike mjini mm. na ndio ilikuwa lengo langu it means nikifika mjini nimefanikiwa mm. mm. so kuna levels za success na vitu kama hivyo mm -hmm. lakini mimi my definition sasa mbo mm. pia nilijifunza everything mm. yote najifunzaga pia I, nilijifunza kuangalia success katika vitu vitatu okay success uh, kwenye upande wa kipato mm. financial success financial success mm -hmm. as in leo mtu anayelia kwa sababu mtu akilia kwenye mercedes na mtu akilia kwenye bajaj <laughs> wanalia vilio tofauti mm. so money has to be there mm. so one is money yes because mm. also you can be able to kusaidia na watu wengine yes. but also success is kuwa na muda wa kuspendi hela. Mm -hmm. 
yani ukisha kuwa financially stable uh -huh. upate muda wa kuspend pesa na watu ambao unawapenda as in leo mimi naweza nikawa nimefanikiwa sana lakini kama sina muda wa wa kuspend na watoto wangu mm. then ama na watu ambao wamenizunguka wa mm. ama na mke wangu ama na mme wangu ama na ndugu zangu mm. you understand mm. then i can't really consider myself successful Mm -hmm. You understand? Na si unajua kuna watu kuna kuna mtu ambaye anafariki labda leo 2 mm -hmm. years 2 years from now unashangaa mali zake zote zimeibiwa. Mm -hmm. You zime, zimeuzwa sorry. Mm -hmm. Why? It's because watoto walikuwa hawana values zake. Watoto walikuwa mm -hmm. na values labda za watu walikuwa wanawalea. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it doesn't really matter how much money you have if mm -hmm. you don't have time to give ama to impact the people around you with the values ambazo mm -hmm. nayo na mapenzi ambayo unayo mm -hmm. na kitu kama hivi. But third, success is about afya. So kipato yes financial success muda na afya. Yaani kama oh. una afya sorry kama una hela una afya haina maana. Mm. Yaani tu umelazwa yaani umelazwa kitanda kina kina hela it doesn't really matter. No. No. Really, it doesn't. So three things. Una muda hauna kipato hujafanikiwa. Mm. Una afya hauna kipato hujafanikiwa. Mm. Una muda una afya bado hujafanikiwa. Lazima vyote vije vitatu mm. wa pamoja. That is when you can consider yourself successful. Interesting. Yeah. Now we know uh, what success is in your definition. Yeah, in my definition. But what inspires me about you is how you keep going. Yeah. You are so determined. No matter how much you've achieved, you don't say that's it. You keep going. Mm -hmm. You keep going. You keep doing and you're very hard working uh, lady young lady <laughs> what, what inspires you what motivates you to keep going okay um as i said biashara yangu mimi ni lifestyle business mm -hmm. as in ndio maisha yangu yani ninavoishi mm -hmm. ndio biashara yangu mm -hmm. umeona eh? so that is one so meaning like because i'm still living i'll still do my <laughs> business you know Mm. Though kwa mtu nje anaweza ka feel like you really hard. yes i am hard working mm. because i have to put some effort and energy you know discipline na nini mm. kujifunza na vitu kama hivyo na kufanya yes but um it's my life that is one but second my business also it's it's about helping people mm. ni kusaidia watu mm. it's a teamwork mm -hmm. na ukisho kwa teamwork na 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 yenyewe jinsi ilivyo mm. ili uendelee kufanikiwa mm -hmm. lazima usaidie watu wengine so kama kuna watu ambao wanaianza business every day mm. it means mimi as a leader lazima niendelee kufanya kazi because now i need to work with them mm. you understand you need to that empower is, them exactly that is what, that is another thing mm. as i said my team is called team unstoppable mm. people are very committed very ambitious they have got goals mm. they are unstoppable <laughs> we are unstoppable you know yeah. so with those kind of people around you ambao mm. wanyoa anataka you can't stop mm -hmm. you'll just keep you know keep working you mm. just continue mm. but ungeniulize ile swali pia like two months ago mm. nilikuwa na different way of answering it mm -hmm. different different way of replying it mm. replying to it I, i met this guy mm. like about two months ago very young mm -hmm. like probably 21 years of age mtu ambaye siku expect kwamba ningeweza kujifunza kitu kitu kwa kutoka kwake and that's another thing that's a lesson unaweza kujifunza kwa mtu yote exactly. watu wengi wana associate exactly. na watu ambao wanaisi ana hela mm. wana associate wanapenda zaidi watu ambao wana you know wana fame wanajulikana mm. na nini lakini wana career development exactly. mm. lakini jamani unaweza kujifunza kwa mtu yote mm. and that is that i i i learned i, I learned something from that guy mm -hmm. aliniambia vero maisha yako ya aina tatu mm -hmm. <laughs> interesting mm -hmm. so kuna maisha ya chini ya kawaida ya chini ya kawaida yes and then kuna maisha ya kawaida ya kawaida and then kuna maisha ya juu ya kawaida ya juu ya kawaida ya and then akaiye chini ya kawaida kawaida, ya kawaida, kawaida, kawaida na juu ya kawaida and then akaielezea na mimi hapo sasa baada ya kujua hicho nikaendelea kuiongezea in my own way ali sali na haya maisha yanatofautiana si kwa hela si kwa nini sio kwa material things yanatofautiana kwa characteristics of people living this kind of life the characters mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. now maisha ya kawaida ni maisha ambayo let's say ni mtu mm. yeye yeah, anaishi yani like yani hata ukimwangalia anavyoishi anasema like really as in labda mtu anaamka asubuhi saa 4 mm -hmm. umeona naweza sio ameajiriwa ama ana biashara mm -hmm. yake lakini you know anaamka muda anaotaka mm -hmm. you can be your own boss lakini kuna mida fulani ambayo sio mida ya kibiashara mm -hmm ana anaweza kaangalia tv the whole day ama akangu na watu ambao wanaangalia series kila siku yani yeye asubuhi mchana jioni anaangalia series 
you know that is maisha ya chile ya kawaida seriously uwezo ukafanya hiki kitu kama hicho mm. and then uka expect kujua kufanikiwa baada mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. but na, na mai mengine mengine ambayo yani like they have haya changii kwenye yeye kufanikiwa mm -hmm. and then kuna maisha ya kawaida maisha ya kawaida ni mtu anaweza kama an, ameajiriwa anaenda kazini kama kawaida anaweza kaomba zake ID siku tatu akalala nyumbani <laughs> you know ID ya uongo mm -hmm. Ikifika saa kumna moja tu, inogonga uyo kasha chukua vitu vyake kasha ondoka. You know? Like, nina mshahara, mshahara wangu, nina budget zangu zote ziko within mshahara wangu, as in siangalivi, kesho kesho kutu itakuwaje. That is maisha ya kawaida. Exactly, that is maisha ya kawaida. And then, kuna maisha ya juu ya kawaida. Maisha ya juu ya kawaida ni maisha ambayo few people wanaishi. Because ni maisha mbuwa na itaji commitment ya hali ya juu. Ni maisha mbuwa na nizamu. Kami nasema yi miracle morning. Awe ni maisha ya juu ya kawaida maidia. Kwa muka sa kumna moja let's say. Si mchezo. Si mchezo. You understand? Uwa muke, uwa ndike malengu yako everyday. You visualize everyday. Wende ukafea masozi everyday. You know like if you. Probably not everyday but then you do it. In fact ita kufanya. Regularly. Yata kujua enye enye pia ni success. You know? Maisha ya juu ya kawaida ni maisha ya kufikiria beyond yourself. Kwa mbaleo kama mimi nafanya kazi, then inabini ni, ni, ni wazo zaidi ya ada ya mtoto wangu. Inabini ni wazo mafanikio zaidi ya gari na otaka kuendesha, nyumba mbao natawa kuishi. Ni wazo hivi kuna, 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 kuna watutu ya timu wa kuwasaidia. That is maisha ya juu ya kawaida. Maisha ya juu ya kawaida, yes. Mineza ni kawa niko Instagram, lakini I'm making money. You know Instagram... Uwangalia nani kafanya nini, sui nini, kitu kia kimetoki. No, no, no. Unatumia social media vizuri. Kama unangalia TV, yes, kama mtu mungine yote, lakini unachagua, unangalia nini. You understand? Not just anything. I'm reading books. You know, nina, nikiingia, nikishike simi yangu. Si ishi Instagram na Facebook, nitaenda YouTube, nitaskiliza, nitaskiliza Tony Robbins, nitaskiliza, 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 Na huu mtu anaishi ya maisha ya juu ya kawaida, siyo lazima wa mefanikiwa that moment, no. But anawayafanya kila siku, ya nachangia into yeye kuwa na maisha mazuri baadai. You understand? Same way as me, nilivambio vero, moyo wako, unadalili nyingi sana za kutokuwa na afya njema. Haimanishi nguwa mazuri ya moyo then. Inamanisha ningeendelea. Nige kuwa na wadzuwa mwono. Nige kuwa na pressure. Nige kuwa. You understand? So, when I learned the maisha chini ya kawaida, juu ya kawaida na maisha juu ya kawaida, nige sema no, I want maisha juu ya kawaida. Because I want the best life possible. Two things matters kwangu, Rita. Two things. Vingine vyote vina mata. One is kusaidia watu. Kumake sure kwamba kuna watu ambao, wanasema I say, if it wasn't for you, Vero, then I wouldn't be the person that I am today. If it wasn't for you, ningekuwa sifam afya nisu nge toke vina hivi. If it wasn't for you, nitongo wa singa watuma shule nzuri. Nisinge kwa nimejenga nyumba nzuri. Nisinge kwa hivi na hivi na hivi. This is one. Oh, actually three. Second, that really matters is the best school for my kids. Education. When it comes to material things and what you can achieve. Two things. Oh, one is best education for my kids. You understand? And the third, which is very important also, is exposure. Exposure. Yeah. It's not a nice car, yes. Good house, yes. Da da, yes. Da da, yes. But then, you know, kuna watu ambuwa na hela nyingi, they have never even been sijui yata po Dubai. Or they have never been, they don't even know the best, you know, Europe can, you know, they don't know about the Europe too and all those kind of things. I'm not saying it's a big deal. But wanasema mtu usipo safiri ni sawa na umefungwa ishi kitabofu ni kasoma tu wapa hivu. The color of life and then ni kaishia. Because that's the only thing you know. That's the only thing you know. Me, I love traveling. And I think, ili wish maisha ya, maisha ya juu ya kawaida also, I think that to me, iyo inakuwa defined hapo. Yes, maisha ya juu ya kawaida, yana include all that, including travels, dear man. Because you have to have enough to make you travel yi dunia. Na mungu wa disema jamani, si ni kama ndege, you understand, unatoka huku marasi, januari wako, huku, december wako, huku, that is, 
and obviously lazima uwe na hizo tabia zikufanikishe vikubwa enough mm. ama uwe ufanikiwe sana mm. kuweza kuishi your best very very best life which includes traveling Damn. yeah ah. nice it might not make sense mm. no it makes sense it makes but, sense hata kama si ku travel basi abroad hata ku travel hapa ndani hapa ndani nyumbani you know uone, that you're not just vijiji vingine uone mikoa mingine ili tu compare mm-hmm. ndio exposure mm-hmm. pia mm-hmm. kwa hiyo ikitukimaliza tunaenda pia na na, na nje mm-hmm. interesting sawa yeah. na naomba kusema Veronica kwamba i know the business you're doing you're self employed but we can't ask everyone to quit job today mm-hmm. to be self employed and we can't ask everyone to quit being self employed ajiriwe mm-hmm. lakini cut across mm-hmm. vijana wote mm-hmm. what is your message to african young people mm-hmm. okay kitu kimoja lakini pia hata sijasema kabla sijasema hivyo mm-hmm. you see life ama tuseme okay not life achana hiyo labda kabla sijajibu ile swali mm. lako niseme kitu kimoja umesema sio lazima watu wote waache kazi na nini mm. yes because hakuna njia moja ya kufanikiwa you understand mm. and also tunafanya vitu kumbuka inabidi ufanye kitu ambacho unakipenda kabisa si ndio mm. yes so mimi ninaongelea hivi personally about what i do is because i love what i do yes. but i maanishi mtu mwingine pia atape atapenda mm. And also haiwezekani watoto tukafanya kitu sawa. Mm-hmm. Yaani haiwezekani leo Rita wote tukawa waandishi wa vitabu. Nani mm-hmm. atasoma? You understand? Mm-hmm. Haiwezekani leo wote tukawa HR managers. Nani mm-hmm. na, nani atamwajiri sasa mwenzake? Mm-hmm. Sio nani elewa? Mm-hmm. Haiwezekani exactly. leo mm-hmm. watoto tukawa ma engineer, watoto tukawa ma doctor, mm-hmm. ama watu wote pia tukawa entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. Haiwezekani. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. So my message is look for what you love. You understand? Mm-hmm. Look for what you love. Once you find it, learn so that to scatter tama because probably ah. that is your best shot. You understand? Mm. Um yeah, I'll say that. Kuna Look for what you 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 love? Yes. And then learn and do it to the fullest. Do it to the fullest because kama livo sawa maisha si ni happiness. Kabisa. And kwa sababu maisha ndio haya haya. Mimi I do not want to do something ambacho every day naamka and see enjoy mm. because then kama unasema ulikuwa nasikia unamuelezea mtu about the inspiration mm. uh, where you got the inspiration na kuandika the color of life mm. kwa mbona ukajikuta umeanguka tu hapo sasa kama hatu, hatuna certainty ya kwamba kesho na kesho nitakuwa wapi mm. kwa nini ishi my miserable life kabisa and kwa sababu maisha is not about money ambayo tunatafuta every day mm. yes you have to we have to make it mm-hmm. then then ukiwa na passion too the money will follow exactly you understand exactly. Yes. passion na nimependa kitu kingine umeongea umesema kwamba uh, una wewe wa, what is important is to be of service mm-hmm. unataka kusaidia mtu aseme kwamba if it wasn't for you veronica mm-hmm. nisinge kuwa hapa kwa hiyo mm-hmm. ina maana maisha is about happiness mm-hmm. and to be of service to others mm-hmm. and humanity yeah one other thing ambacho i would love to share mm-hmm. kidogo tu mm-hmm is um you see maisha na ili ufanikiwe unahitaji 200%. Okay. 200%. I love that. When I learned that I was like whoa. Mhm. Inahitaji 200%. Okay. 100% yourself. As in 100% of you. Who mm-hmm. are you? Mm-hmm. Are you committed enough? Are you disciplined enough? Are you hard working? Una malengo kama if are you dreaming mm-hmm. big or you dreaming small, mm-hmm. you know? Like wewe kama wewe. And then another 100% is about what you do. So yes, I said that look for what you love. Yes. But it has to be something ambacho kinakupatia the other 100%. Because tukubali tukatae, sio kila kitu ambacho kitakupeleka unataka kufika. No, 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 no. Exactly. Ndatoa mfano mzuri tu ambao nilikupa. Leo let's say me me matching. Mm. Sawa. So, mm. And then kila siku na, ninatoka naenda barabarani nina niko na vocha zangu and then ama nina biashara yangu nyingine mm. nina fulani fulani kisimama na, na mtu akinionyesha nataka kununua vocha then nitamkimbilia mm-hmm. yule mtu ana even more than 100% kuliko yes. sawa Rita ambaye unakaa ofisini na hii ndugu mm. yangu you understand mm-hmm. jua linamuishia pale anaweza sio mpata breakfast wala mm-hmm. lunch lakini anapokimbilia pale hajui kama utanunua vocha 500 au 1000 because profit ni tofauti mm-hmm. Yule mtu ana 100% ya kwake but the the vehicle anayotumia 
haiwezi kumfikisha pale so yes let's look for what we love but then tumuombe Mungu i think that's another thing mm. tumuombe Mungu atusaidie kujua ni kitu gani ambacho kweli kitanifikisha kule na nataka kufika nina kipenda na kitani empower kitani empower kufika kule na nataka kufika kwenye malengo makubwa mm. ambayo nataka kufika mm. you understand because success needs 200% 100% yourself another 100% in the vehicle ama njia ambayo utaitumia kufika kwa mafanikio wow yeah. ha, again tupo na Veronica nafikiri mnajifunza sana mnaona mtanishukuru kwa kuwaletea sana <laughs> lakini before okay. uende najua kabisa kuna watu ambao wako inspired sasa hivi ku join biashara yako yeah uh, tukufikieje Okay. <laughs> so should I say my number? Ah, uh, okay. mbao uta, uta right. penda tuku, kama ni email, kama ni number, wewe tu. All right, so. Mm. In fact, I encourage you to look to have a look into forever. Mm. Because sio tu imenisaidia mimi kuweza ku, ku ishi maisha, kupiga hatua kubwa kwenye maisha, mm. lakini imesaidia watu wengi sana. It's mm. a global company. As in it's in business for 40 years. Mm in over 160 countries mm -hmm. kwa nini 160 countries zina mata kwa sababu sasa hivi tuna maso, tuna social media is easy mm -hmm. unaweza kujenga biashara yako anywhere so mm -hmm. i i highly encourage mm -hmm. have a look into that unaweza usio na ielewa mm -hmm. because it depends na umesikia nini ulifam vipi lakini yes you're talking to someone that is very experienced <laughs> i'm so very i've been doing this for mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. you know i've grown into forever mm -hmm. and um, i can answer to all of your questions mm -hmm. honestly maswali yote ambayo unayo inaweza nikajibu so tukapata instagram so instagram don niko sana mm -hmm. and that is where there is where like i am like so 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 very available mm -hmm. na natumia jina la veronica kundia so niko instagram by veronica kundia lakini mm -hmm. pia my numbers are plus 255713 690702 Rarely niko Facebook pia mm. by the same name Veronica Kundia mm. and mm. you know by email as well ambayo ita, 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 itapita kwenye screen. Yeah. Veronica, yes. we have learned a lot from you today. Thank you. Pray sana. Thank you for gracing us with Thank the gift you. of your time. Thank you. Thank you for all the knowledge. Yeah. Um, my take out for today yeah. uh, ni mainly about success being yeah. a three pillar. Mm. Uh, there's financial success, but there's time and there's health. Yeah. And all this should come together. Yeah. Uh, before we finish, uh, labda kama una chochote, ungependa ku kushare na Tanzania, kushare yeah. na Africa. Karibu. Yeah. Wow. Yaani kwanza thank you very much kwa kuninvite. Mm. I know kuna watu wengi sana ambao ungeweza kuninvite, kuinvite mm. kwenye your show ambao nimepata chance kukusikiliza a number of you know watu ambao uliweza kuinvite na wakaweza kuongea oh. hapa kushirikiana na watu wengine kushare well, their yeah. insights and views. Mm. And um kitu ambacho naweza nikasema. <laughs> it's about you actually. Oh wow. Yeah. It's about you. <laughs> and you see this book to organize a certain event na ito mwanamke wa sasa mm. tea party it was ili il trend sana yes and we were inspired by the other uh, tea party ambayo ilifanyika and uh -huh. so we thought it's a good idea kuweza kuwapatia wanawake mtoko mm -hmm. you know and then we invited <laughs> Rita to come and you know grace the ladies ambao walikuwa pale and she Thank did an amazing so job hichi uh -huh. kitabu mimi nimeweza nimepata chance kukisoma mm -hmm. It's an amazing book. Mm -hmm. Lakini it's not about the book itself, jamani. Mm -hmm. You see mafanikio, it's not nyumba na gari na you know hiyo sijui yacht ama nini ambayo mtu atamiliki, mm -hmm. but ni unakuwa nani in the process of you know kuwa na yale mafanikio. <laughs> so it's not hii kitabu chenyewe ni mafanikio, but this woman I'll say ni mwanamke wa sasa. Oh, Why you. because do you know how hard it is kusoma kitabu? Kusoma <laughs> ni ngumu. Asa imagine mtu ambaye ameandika kitabu. <laughs> And you, like, tuko na wanawake wachache sana ambao ambao they are you know like female authors and all that especially in Tanzania mm. and you 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 watching one of them right here oh, so katika culture ambayo mimi najua itakusaidia sana kwa kufikisha kwenye mafanikio yako mm. na as kitu ambacho tuko tunakiongea ni kusoma vitabu and this should be one of the books i'm not promoting the book 
<laughs> but I'm promoting the whole culture. Mm. Yeah, thank you. And so for thank that, Ongera Sana, ah, and I believe you. this is not Should just the humble. first one. I'm sure <laughs> you'll, keep on, you'll keep on blessing us and blessing exactly. us and blessing exactly. us. And exactly. Exactly. Oh, thank you. Asante, Asante for everything, Veronica, you. especially for your time. Yeah. Keep inspiring us. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Asante. you. Again, uh, I can't thank you enough. All the viewers, Asante ni sana. Chilikuwa na uh, Veronica Kundia. Natumaini mta endelea kwa nasisi, kuendelea kujifunza. Tafadhali, kumbuka kuacha komenti yako kwenye YouTube. Na natumaini uh, Veronica atatengeneza muda wa, wa kuangalia. Thank Asante. you. Asante.